Hi, it's David in the stained glass studio, and I'm going to fix this stained glass window. Now, I want to show you a couple of things about it. It's got a frame, but look, this this wooden frame, see, look, you hold it like this, or you hold it like this, and so it it's wobbly in both directions, and that's why this window has broken here and here and here and here all several different places so it's going to be a big deal to finish this so one of the things i'm going to have to do i take the frame apart so i can get the uh skier out of out of it and then i'm going to have to uh repair it and then put it back in and i'm going to have to make sure that this is no longer a uh uh, unstable uh, frame because it's got to be good so first things first I'm going to take it apart alright well this is the Dremel Multimax tool first thing I have to do is change this blade I want so now this ought to let me cut the the wood on this frame let's see let me put this guy here back in All right I think that's going to work. Okay, well, you can see I'm not quite halfway done, but as I cut along here, it just breaks right off. And so I'm just sure. And then once I get once I get this piece cut off, then I'll be able to twist. See how the frame twists in there? You know, it'll it'll just twist right off. So I'll keep at it. You ready? Oh, that came right off. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, you can see that this piece of glass is broken here and here, and then this one is broken here, so not too delicate of an operation here, but I'm just going to see now if this piece of wood Breaks, and it looks like okay, come on. So do you have an opinion as to whether or not you should glue in your window? I think you should, but I don't think that this is a good frame. Ah. I mean, this is a nice frame because it disappears inside, but it's not. First of all, there should have been a zinc outer bar on this, and there wasn't. And that would have saved it. But then this frame, you, see, you can see that it came apart and had screws, and so it started wiggling like this. Well, that doesn't hold then. Let's see if I can...
Okay, so now this wood is cracked off, so now we should be able to twist. Still not easily. I don't know. I'll have to get over on the other side and work it out. Okay, this is looking like I've almost got this exposed. See that? I'm That bit looks like it's about to come out, doesn't it? Hello. Okay, that. I don't know about the rest of it, it's just... Never had one that was this difficult. Hey, okay. All right, well, it looks like it fits on this piece of paper. We have it on this smaller piece, but it didn't quite fit well. So now we can trace it. To the right shape and kind of get some some lines drawn in you know I think that the skier is okay and so we'll just be going around different parts and then figuring out how to place glass in where it needs to go boy this has really been a struggle that uh, that framework was murder to get apart so I want to bring you along with this repair that I've been doing. It was not easy, I'll tell you, <laughs> because it was broken up into so many pieces that I had to kind of put it back together like a jigsaw puzzle. So some of these pieces are new, some of these pieces are old, some I couldn't fix, and so I just kind of put um, a piece of foil on top because I could not match that color exactly. So he's going to have a stripe <laughs> on his elbow. And that's okay, because sometimes you do what you have to do with, um, with repairs. So some of the places there are a little bit wider gaps to make the old fit in with the new. And then some are just all new pieces. So that's just kind of how a repair goes. You get what you get, but I think that this is going to be a good piece and I think they're gonna be happy with it. And I want to be, what is the word? Transparent, vulnerable, uh, open <laughs> with you. Because this window, as it came, all in pieces, all broken, sat on the back table for months. I was gonna look up for you exactly when it came. I don't even remember. But it sat out there for so many months because I didn't even want to look at it. And not because I didn't like it, because I think oh, that is such a cool window. But I was kind of afraid of it and thought I wasn't good enough to be able to repair it. And I thought, it's not going to be as good as it was before. And so instead of tackling it, I just let it. Well, here it is. <laughs> it's finished. 
And in the wise words of one of our uh, clients, <clears throat> she used to say her favorite colors were done and finished. <laughs> so I like it. I like how it turned out. And uh, there's a lesson in this, though. Is, um, I love the quote by Eleanor Roosevelt that said, you must do the things you think you cannot do. <laughs> and I did not think <clears throat> that I would be able to reconstruct this window and one little piece at a time and it has come together so the lesson in all this is one thing at a time one step at a time and you can achieve your goals and your dreams and a window for a lovely client <laughs> see you next time